Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Today we're just doing something really, really simple. This face. Um, it is an attempt to do a spring look for releases and runs. You've already seen it. This is it. So if you want to see how I did this, then this is the video for you. Do please keep on watching. I love that I spent forever trying to get my fringe to sit properly and now I'm just going to ruin it all with the headband. The things I do for you guys. Thank you, Sarah, for making the releases and rants. Uh, I, I so appreciate it. It's so brilliant. Sarah's one of my Patreons. Um, we're just going to sit down and do a silly little chatting and, and me being ridiculous. I don't know. Like, I'm doing my makeup for releases and rants tonight. You've already seen uh, the look. It's myself and Rebecca on tonight. Um, the theme is spring. Why do people suggest these things? You know I don't have long to put all of this together. Um, so I I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. So I just figured I'd start off with my skin first because apparently I am, um, I don't know, like looking for trouble. Who knows, who knows? Um, I still have a little bit of problematic skin, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. Uh, a few of you have commented and they're like, oh my God, your skin's better. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> I had to sacrifice some things for it. I'm joking, I didn't have to sacrifice anything. Or did I? Have I become Willow Rosenberg and I just had to sacrifice a fawn? Who knows? Anyways, I am just putting on a bit of foundation. I am mixing my Revolution Pro and some It Cosmetics Cream. Um, I don't want too much foundation on. Like, I don't like a cake face. I know that Missa does. I know you do, my love, but it's just not for me. I think it just makes me look really aged. So I like it really light. So, that, but that's just personal preference. It's okay if we don't agree on that. We don't have to fall out on these things, or do we? No, we don't. We're not falling out on these things. That would be silly. So yeah, I'm trying to do a spring look. So obviously I have no idea what it is that I'm doing. Send help, send help. I'll pump a bit more foundation on. I find when I um, mix the Revolution Pro with the It Cosmetics, it gives a nicer sort of a finish like than either of them by themselves. That's just me. That is just my opinion. You do not have to agree. Bring it down the neck. I love this foundation brush. How have we all been doing? I figured you see I'd sit down and film because yesterday was my brother's anniversary. I just wasn't in the form to like edit or do things because I was like, ugh, everything's rubbish. The whole world is rubbish, which obviously it isn't. That's just like a very fatalistic way of looking at things. Everything is fine, Teresa, you know, calm down. Calm yourself. Um, but I just figured, well, I'll sit down today and actually like do stuff. Um, and why not do this, you know? I might as well. I mean, you, ugh, I'm looking down here at my desk, it's a, it's, it's a bomb site if I'm 100% honest. I shouldn't be trusted. I'm just taking this Juvia's Place concealer, which by the way, if anyone knows how to take, how to sort this so I can get the last of the concealer out, let me know, because it's not done in the best way. Um, it's not the most user friendly in that aspect, but I do find it's a really good um, concealer for doing my eyes. So I'm just gonna pat that down. Pat, 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 pat. Um, I was listening to the Welsh Twins podcast today. I love their podcast. I listen to it a lot. I just live for them like giggling. I have no idea what they're talking about most of the time. And then they're just giggling and I'm like, yay, giggles, I'm here for it. Um, they were joined by Smoky Glow. Now, I don't really like Smoky Glow, so I didn't enjoy the podcast as much as I normally would, but that's that's just personal preference really, isn't it? Um, what did you guys think? Do any of you watch that? Do we do we care? Huh. There we go. I have this little real techniques brush. It's the 307. I mean, look, let's be real, this is not necessarily something you'll want to recreate. I have the Morphe James Charles palette, which I never used. I know I'm the worst and I just figured screw it I'll go into it today and I'm going to use a couple of these colours so I'm going into the yellow um, and I'm going to put that into into my eyeball lid. I don't know. So I'm just going to pop that there. The pigmentation isn't that? Oh 
Not that I'm doing much with it, but like, you know, it's not the worst. I'm gonna go into this sort of an orange shade. Hopefully you can see, there we go. It's nothing, nothing major because quite frankly, I'm lazy. I couldn't be bothered to do anything proper. So I'm just using the same brush again that I put through the color switch, which is life. I love my color switch. I'm just gonna pack that on and then future Teresa can blend it out. Yeah, future Teresa, you deal with things. You deal with things rather well, I think. No, she doesn't. She's actually really bad at these things. You know that present, Teresa. This has gone very like Easter Island or something. I don't really know what I'm doing. Taking the same brush again, went through the colour switch and I'm going into the bright pink. Um, I'm going to be ridiculous. Why not? And uh, just going to pack that on the edge there. On the edge? On the edge. Good Lord, woman. Learn to speak. Speaking hard. Taking my Sigma E36 and I'm just going to take it dry and go like this. Because, you know, why not? Just go between the yellow and the orange. I do hate that they don't print the names underneath. That it's on like a separate sheet. It's really annoying. That sort of thing bugs me. Probably more than it should. That blends pretty nicely. Like it's, it doesn't look bad. You probably can't see most of what I've done. Oh well. So I'm just taking another brush now and I just want to kind of blend it up here at the top and just kind of have them all merge a little bit more. I'll probably take more of the pink on the outside. And then I'm going to take more of the pink shade but I'm going to pop it on this and just pop it here. I really want it to kind of come out as a bit more vibrant. I'm just going to take this sort of a packing shading brush and I'm going into, yeah, I think I'll go into this shade here. It's like a shimmer shade. I'm going to put that there. So again, I'm taking that Sigma E36 and just kind of taking that shade and kind of just dispersing it a little bit. I think that looks nice. And then I want to get some sort of a nice kind of a, yeah, this will do. I'm using this, again, another little sort of a packing brush. It's a Morphe one. I'll go into this color here. Or no, going into this color, the green. It's my look, gosh darn it. So I shall do what I want, there you go. So I'm just gonna pop that down here. I don't know why, but this is screaming Easter for me. Is anybody else getting weird Easter vibes from this? Just me? Okay. So I mean, I think the eyes are pretty much done. Like. I'm not going to do much else with them because I'm lazy. Um, what I might do now is just take a little bit of blush or a lot of bit of blush. This is one that I'm trying to pan. It's just a pink one. It's, I think, Bashful from the collection. Um, and I am going to absolutely go ham on it and just pop it everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Because I kind of want to make it a very, like when I think of spring, I think of blush. Or is it just me? Just me? Okay. Fair. Have I put on too much blush? The jams. The jams. But again, I'm going for like a weird out there look, so. And uh, Elena isn't on tonight. So it's like every time I think I've done okay, then Elena turns up and she's like, here, hold my beer. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I do love her though, so she's allowed to outshine me on my own channel. The audacity, the audacity, I tell you. Um, what do I want to do next? Um, I have this Stila uh, shadow. It's, um, by the way, it's like a, a, an eyeshadow uh, in Kitten, but it's really good as a highlighter. So I'm just gonna take the Spectrum brush and Pop it here. I'm not putting on any bronze or anything like that because I actually, I think of spring, I don't think of like tan or anything like that. So I'm keeping away from the bronze. I think the next thing that I want to do is probably a little bit weird and will probably go quite wrong. 
quite wide rub. But whatever, it's just makeup. It's not that deep. Um, I am going to have a breakdown. No, no, everything's fine. I'm going to go into this pink colour here. Quite a pale one. And I'm using essentially just a sort of a packing brush. And uh, this is all... Actually, do you know what? Before I do that, I should probably put a bit of powder on the face. But a bit, a bit of powder. I don't know what I'm doing. Because I'm not going to really be putting anything else on. I'm just kind of... Calm down that blush. I know. It's, it is difficult being this beautiful. It is difficult. But um, I think I, I deal with that difficulty quite well. You know? I deal with it well. I don't know. How much powder can we put onto my face? All of it. There we go. I mean, that'll do, right? That'll do. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm just using this brush and I'm dipping into that pale pink in the Morphe James Charles palette because I'm too lazy to do anything else. I'm not surprised and I'm just gonna pop that there. Maybe I should go in with the, the that pink and maybe the bright pink and just mesh the two of them together. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna pop that there like that. Just slowly destroy the palette. Oh well. I look like Bosco. If you're Irish, you know what that means. If you're not, I'm sorry, you, you really missed out on something special in your childhood. I am taking um, this Suva Balm AF liner and just a little liner brush. And uh, I'm going to try and make it look like it's a flower. That'll do. Like, it's fine. Nothing, nothing major. Couldn't be bothered to do anything more. <laughs> <laughs> That's the extent of it. I'm just going to take this shader brush and I'm going into kind of the darker green at the bottom of the Morphe James Charles palette. I'm not going to bother showing you because you don't need to see that sort of ridiculousness. And I'm just going to put that there. And then. So I just figured I'd uh, go and do my brows and just put on some false lashes. Uh, this is all I've kind of done. It's nothing major. I mean, it's a bit rubbish, but it'll do. And uh, when in doubt, <laughs> we glue things to our faces. So I have like some little mini butterflies because I was like, there's butterflies last spring. And I also have some dried flowers here as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna apply a few of these uh, flowers in front of you guys, because I can't really be trusted. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on lipstick first. I'm gonna put on Fenty's uh, Unlocked, because I think that'll go like this bright pink. It's very springy. So yeah, I just figured I'd put that on. And um, I'll link the flowers down below if you wanna get them. Um, I have, of course, like these little tubes of glue uh, that I keep nearby at all times, just in case of emergencies. And uh, I'm gonna pop some glue onto my face because apparently that's what like normal people do. Put that there. Put that there. Now this isn't indicative of anything pro uh, troubling. This isn't a, a warning sign of problematic behavior. There we go. You stay there. I'm gonna get another one here. They're very friable, these, you know. They're very easy to like tear apart, which is the one kind of like not so great thing about using dried flowers. But I mean, they look pretty, so I'll take it. I will take it. So that's what I've done. I just popped some of the dried flowers on. Uh, does it look a bit odd? Yeah, I was kind of half thinking. And this may be weird, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Of just uh, taking a bit of the green shade uh, from 
the James Charles and just kind of popping it kind of behind them. Probably should have done that before I put the darn flowers down, but uh, oh well, you know, you live, you learn, I guess. Right, it doesn't look awful. Um, the last thing I want to do, a sound floor, is just uh, pop on some of these little butterflies. So I um, want to use my little wax pen uh, to pick up some of these. And I'm gonna, I want to dot them on like little freckles. So I'll do one or two with you, and uh, then we will come back together once the whole thing is uh, finished. So yeah. Like seriously, what did we do before we had wax pens? Just cried, I suppose. So yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna pepper a few more of them around here and uh, I'll come back at the end to show you how it all looks. So I'm back and I just figured I'd put my hair up, do a little bit of curl, put in some cute earrings and a nice headband. And yeah, this is it once it's all done. A gammy looking flower, some iridescent butterflies, and I've glued a lot of flowers to myself. I used all of the flowers that I had. So the eye look itself is really simple. I didn't want to do a huge amount with it. Yeah, I mean, that's it. So you can kind of see, I think the butterflies really make it. I think they're so cute, like little butterfly freckles. I'm so into doing that these days. And then just loads of flowers. Don't look at my skin. Yeah, I don't hate this. And the eyes themselves are just super simple. I didn't want to do much with them. Yeah, that all the earrings are cute, aren't they? That's so cute. Mm. But yeah, that's it. I mean, it was just a simple sort of a silly little look. A spring hath sprung type of thing. Um, that's it. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Do please share because sharing is caring. Unless, of course, it's an STD. In which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross. That's it, that is the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.